click the bell icon to get latest videos from ikeda hello friends today we are going to discuss about single phase ac voltage converter So friends, as we discuss about the DC to DC voltage converter, now can we take AC voltage as an input? Can we get an output controlled voltage? So this is what we are going to discuss about. First of all, we can always control an AC voltage using a thyristor or using a thyristor module. Now it depends whether we are using a half wave control method or a completely full wave control method or a full wave bridge control method. So friends, if I draw the circuit diagram, I'm connecting an AC supply, let's say this is Vs, to the primary coil of a transformer and the secondary coil is connected to a bridge rectifier but the diodes are replaced with a thyristor. Let's say that's a bridge rectifier. And I'm connecting four thyristors, thyristor 1, thyristor 2, thyristor 3, and thyristor 4. Now friends, let's say this is a free wheeling diode. And I'm connecting a resistive load across the output. So friends, if you can see here, the AC gets rectified here for a full wave rectification. That means, let's say this is thyristor T1, and let's say this is T2, let's say this is T3, and this is T4. Now I can control alpha, which is the firing angle. And I can control the output voltage by changing the triggering angle or the firing angle which is alpha so by controlling alpha vrms which is the rms value output voltage can be controlled so friends here in this circuit i'm converting an ac to a dc voltage and i'm controlling my output voltage by controlling the firing angle so this can also be done through a half wave rectification method where let's say this is my ac supply i'm connecting a thyristor to a resistive load let's say vs is my supply t with the thyristor r with the resistive load but this is called half wave AC control method. So in this case, we can only control the positive cycle of the AC voltage across the output. Now we will not be getting the negative pulses rectified across the output because thyristor controls the flow of electron or flow of current in only one direction. So here also we can convert the firing angle and control the voltage accordingly. And one more type of circuit would be, this is Vs. So I'm connecting thyristor in two different directions. This is also called the half wave rectification process in the AC voltage control method. So here I'm only getting only the positive pulses and the negative pulses are blocked by the thyristor. Now friends, this is all about the AC voltage control for a single phase AC supply with a resistive load. So we understood about the basic working principle and the circuit diagrams. Thank you so much friends for watching this video. Please subscribe to Ikeda and stay tuned with Ikeda. Thank you so much.